you know, we are just so happy and, uh, you know, proud that Michigan is now on the right side of history and um, that, you know, we were able to stand up and say this wasn't fair. This is the right thing to do. We, you know, we, we did believe our rights were violated or else, you know, we, we wouldn't have gone into this. Um, and we wanted this for our kids, our families and families like ours all over, the, you know, the state of Michigan. Michigan's same-sex marriage ban is unconstitutional, according to federal judge Bernard Friedman. He released his ruling a little after 5 p.m., rejecting the state's argument that children raised by same-sex couples do worse in life than children raised by a man and a woman. He was also convinced, unconvinced by the state's arguments based on tradition, morality, and states' rights. We want to quote part of Judge Friedman's ruling in response in response to the state's claim that the case is about the will of the people, he wrote the following. State defendants lost sight of what this case is truly about. People, no court record of this proceeding could ever fully convey the personal sacrifice of these two plaintiffs who seek to ensure the state may no longer impair the rights of their children and the thousands of others now being raised by same-sex couples. The judge did not stay his ruling, so marriage licenses can be issued to same-sex couples immediately. Attorney General Bill Schutte filed an emergency appeal with the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals and is asking for a stay. Schutte had already told county clerks around the state not to issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples in the event that the law was overturned. He wants them to wait until the appeals process plays out. We don't know when the court will rule on his request. Ingham County Clerk Barb Byram told us she will not be opening her office to issue marriage licenses over the weekend. She will, however, open her Lansing and Mason offices at 8 a.m. Monday and will release licenses then, unless she hears differently from the federal appeals court. It's an honor to join people in marriage, and I look forward to the opportunity of joining all loving couples in marriage. In Ingham County, we are prepared to continue following the law. We would make some modifications to make sure that those um, ceremonies are done and uh, the licenses are issued. There has been an enormous reaction to the ruling from both sides of the aisle, and we want to give you a sample of what some people are saying. The Michigan Catholic Conference represents bishops around the state. It opposes same-sex marriage, saying, quote, Nature is the arbiter of marriage, and we uphold this truth for the sake of the common good. This, from a group of more than 100 black pastors in Detroit, quote, our voting rights are no longer protected. Abraham Lincoln, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and our forefathers apparently died in vain. The Michigan Democratic Party LGBT and Allies Caucus called it, quote, a significant step towards true fairness, whether it be in the workplace, public accommodations, or our homes. And Democratic gubernatorial candidate Mark Schauer said he firmly believes every Michigander deserves equal protection under the law, and today's ruling reaffirms this fundamental American value.